Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from uh, Rad Tarot, and in this whole video, we are going to look into uh, Cancer and uh, their upcoming week, uh, December 7th to December 13th, 2020. So, while I'm shuffling the cards, guys, uh, just to remind you if you do uh, want a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're gonna see uh, a link to my website from which you can go for a personal readings. Uh, also, if you want to dive into the magic of tarot, I'm offering tarot classes. Uh, all that you can find into my website, which once again, it is listed in the description down below. So with that being said, let's uh, move to your uh, weekly reading. And the first card we do have for you as a topic of your week, that is going to be the Page of Swords. Uh, moving next, it is uh, the um, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic itself. That is going to be the uh, Six of Wands. Followed by uh, the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month, uh, throughout the week, I'm sorry, and um, that you are going to overcome throughout the week. That will be the Two of Wands. Followed by the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week, we do have the Lover's card. The fifth one is how people see you, uh, what kind of an impression you do into or you do make into uh, your wife or a husband, family, friends, co-workers, etc, etc. That is to be the magician. Uh, then it is the obstacles that may hold you down and this is going to be the seven of pentacles. Afterwards, the seventh card, that will be the uh, positive aspects. Now, of the week, which are to push you forward. So it's uh, uh, just the opposite of the Seven of Pentacles or of the position of the Seven of Pentacles, and that is going to be the Four of Cups. And the last card we do have, which is the Guidance that Tara is offering to you, Cancer, that will be the Seven of Swords. These eight cards. Wow, all right. So we are definitely talking about something which is going to come into your mind, but I can't really say is this crazy idea is going to be because you see so much into it or because it's, it's found on a basis you have thus achieved, meaning uh, a good achievement thus far that now allows you, opens you a path that this crazy original thinking can actually be manifested. And that is exactly what we are talking about here, that out of nowhere, at the start of the week itself, you're going to start thinking about things you never thought before. And it's uh, with the Page of Swords into that position, accompanied with the Six of, uh, with the six of Wands, uh, it's not very likely that you are going to see that much of an opposition <clears throat> for the sole reason that uh, generally people will believe in you and kind of like trust you as well. I mean, they, they, they will say something like that. Uh, you know, I don't see how this is to happen, but if you think that it can happen, you are the only one who can make it happen, all right? That, that, that's either career-wise, relationship-wise, etc., etc. Uh, another thing that uh, it's highly likely to happen, it is that you are going to uh, start penetrating um, through the facade of people, seeing what their true nature is, and that itself could force some kind of a, a cleanup into your social circle, a work environment, if you will, into your intimate circle uh, as well. <clears throat> and uh, another thing that you need to be prepared of here, Cancer, is uh, help. That's probably you are to be asked to help quite a lot here and there for the energies which are surrounding you right now are kind of like making you look like uh, a savior. Something, something like this does reside within those cards. But the prime focus of this week in this reading is that crazy idea to be with that guy or a girl, you know, to do that hobby of yours or to expand on your business, whatever it is, is going to be very unstandard. Probably you're not going to have a plan around it right now, but that doesn't really matter. 
because like I said, it's going to be based and found on very good experiences, very good uh, achievements as well. Uh, it is just a, a natural continuation of your work. It is just, uh, or of your experience in general. It is just thus far, you, you did not thought of it in a such um, from a such angle, in a such light, and so on, and uh, and so forth. Now, <clears throat> moving next, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome. That is going to be the two of wands, and it kind of likes um, how do you say it? Combines the previous two cards into one. For the two of wands, it's it's nothing but the determination to step into your current uh, progress and expand on that progress moving forward. Now the problem with the challenge though, and the two of wands, it's a follow up of those two cards. It is the aggression that is one thing. So you may start demanding things to happen straight away. Uh, and now I'm gonna backtrack a little bit, I'm sorry about that, but demanding things straight away is going to happen because within your mind, through the original thought and idea that you are going to have, everything is gonna be pretty clear. I mean, you're gonna have a pretty good concept, how things are supposed to happen, and it will be very close to your mind, it will seem the only logical thing to follow up, but that is not going to be the mind of others. And that is gonna put you in a zone where you may kinda like, feel like you are misunderstood thinking of how people how these people cannot see it that way you know and uh, instead of taking your time uh, explaining yourself you may uh, run to toward the other side of uh, of performance or rather like of uh, of communication where you do just enforce what you think without explaining yourself why and that way uh, you may lose a lot along the way uh, if not the progress itself uh, the very least the uh, the respect of those which are around you friends family uh, lovers etc etc uh, the other challenge here is how to, because like I said, that original thought and idea will have many ways how to be accomplished. And uh, you need to decide which one you want to move forward with, but that comes into the obstacles. We are going to talk about more extensively when the card with the obstacles that are going to hold you back going is, is it's, 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 it's turn. Oh my God. It is. It's turn. Oh my God. Right. And the last thing about the challenges here for you, Cancer, is that you may face a little bit of a setbacks here and there. Things are not prepared on, on time or they are, are a bit harder than you have anticipated and so on and so forth. And that is going to put a pretty gloom mood on your face and within your soul according to this card. And in those kind of a dark moments, you need to remember what your goal is and that memory of your goal is going to illuminate your path moving forward. Then we do have the gifts and blessings and that is going to be the lover's card. So as a gift and blessing here, actually this is a pretty beautiful thing because uh, throughout this week, whatever decision you make, it's not going to be the wrong decision. So you're pretty much deprived from uh, the ability to screw yourself over. Uh, the other thing here that the lovers uh, gifts you, that the energy of the lovers gifts you, it is a harmony in the relationships, but not just only um, the love relationships, but any type of a relationships. And the most beautiful gift that the lovers gives you, it is the resolution of some or maybe all of your issues and concerns on their own accord, especially those that you cannot find solution with are going to be definitely one step closer to its resolution. And the good thing it is that it's going to happen on its own accord. So moving next, we do have uh, the impression of the people around, what kind of how you do stand in their gaze and in their look. Uh, that will be the magician. So this is where the people kind of trust you and respect you. If and they kind of say, you know, if you can, if you can't make it, nobody can. Uh, so people are gonna see you as a very capable person, okay? Very firm and stepped firmly on the ground type of guy or a woman. 
uh, with a strong sovereignty around. It is like, don't mess around with me. I know what I am doing. You know, uh, I know best how things should work out and how the things should be taken in. This type of uh, look and this type of acceptance, if you will, it's amazing, especially when we're talking about people that are looking for love. Because if you are to attract somebody throughout the week with that impression that you are putting into the environment, into the world, you are going to attract only the people that are to accept you for what you truly are. You don't have to change, you don't have to make compromises anymore, you don't have to constantly explain yourself for something that you did that in generally have not been liked by the other person and you pretty much feel guilty for something you did that you feel good from, right? But no, that's not gonna happen if you got attracted or somebody gets attracted to you throughout the week and you decide to, to pretty much give it a go. Aside from that, um, <clears throat> people are gonna seek your, not exactly your guidance, but more like your advice, even on, um, on a topics and on a matters that you usually don't shine into, that could a little bit pose uh, aggravation in you, why that person is asking me, you know, these kind of a questions since they know that that's not my field of expertise. Well, that's the problem here with the magician. They will see you, I mean, people around will see you capable in literally everything because of the original thought. They never thought that you are going to pretty much express such kind of creativity. And now as you do, within their eyes, it is like, oh my God, a guy or that woman has a tremendous potential. I mean, I don't know. They probably don't know what kind of a potential they do have. And the last thing that people are going to see you with, it is a amazing and undestructible determination. Whatever you do, it will look like that you, like I said, really know what you're doing and you really mean it. So nobody is going to doubt in you, in your intentions and as well in your actions and as well in your words. You want to say the truth, that's the week you do it. So moving next, we do have the obstacles which are going to hold you back, and that is the uh, Seven of Pentacles. So with uh, Seven of Pentacles, um, as an obstacle, it is like slowing down the pace, constantly scaling up, is my time or an effort or even love, if you will, worth it? Now, here in, in this week, when you do decide to throw yourself into something, and especially into that original idea or original thought that you do have, you keep up with the pace. You already made your decision. And as we, and as we saw with the lover's card, you cannot make the wrong decision, at least not throughout this particular week. So if you are standing in front of very important decisions, the first thing that comes here to your mind, it is the right decision. Don't overthink it. Overthinking it, it is the, uh, the thing that is going to hold you and slow you down. Another thing about the Seven of Pentacles is taking a break. Unfortunately, taking a break is going to be crucially detrimental to your, uh, to your performance and to your progress, regardless if we're talking about career and relationships. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind, how this could take place in relationship, because in career, everybody knows how break is taken. But in relationship, for example, saying to your wife, I don't know what we are going to do and how we stand. I need a break. You know, I need a little bit of time on my own. Hugely detrimental to your marriage, at least according to this card. You stick with it. You already are playing the dance and you have to dance until the dance end. The dance haven't ended. Another thing that could pose as a detriment to you is not knowing what to do or second guessing yourself what to do with the situation arisen. And uh, uh, in those cases, I'm going to backtrack into the first cards as well, okay? That no matter how crazy the solution may look like, it's a good solution because it's supported with this energy of, of success, recognition, rewards of the Six of Wands. So 
Moving next, we do have the uh, positive aspects which are going to help you throughout the week. That is going to be the Four of Cups. Um, that kind, that, that this card kind of like supplements the Six of Wands, the energies, and it confirms that you are sitting really on, on some kind of a progress and some kind of an achievement that have been accomplished a little bit, how can I say, back into the past. And now you still in, are enjoying the, 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 the results of those achievements, but they are now diminishing. These results are fading away. You need something new to, to stir your life. Okay, to, to keep up your life ticking, to, to play some kind of a meaning and sense. That card could point that it was a good achievement that you know you get into a uh, into relationship with this woman or with that guy, but now the relationship become monotone. It, it became uh, just, you know, routine type of relationship. Nothing amazing is happening there anymore. Nothing exciting is happening there anymore. And yes, you are consuming the love toward one another, but it becomes trivial. It becomes almost like, it feels almost like granted. And you do need something new to, to, to stir that relationship. And that new thing, it is your original thought and crazy idea that comes throughout the week. And... Um, it's a thing that you need to consider. That is breaking the boredom, breaking the, 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 the framework, breaking the routine. That it is what is going to help you to stir your life forward and to progress moving forward. Uh, now with the, the four of, with the Four of Cups, uh, the excitement is a little bit awkward and strange. As it comes, it's different. It's not bad. It, it's a good excitement, but it's different excitement. You, you do feel like a, a surge of electricity is running through your body when you think about it. People get scared from it, and that's why the Four of Cups usually to, to take advantage of um, the amazing opportunity, or in this case, the amazing thought and idea that you are to have cancer. You need to uh, put really strong um, or kind of like really big a mental strength into the endeavor itself. Because, like I said, it's gonna be you are you're gonna feel awkward, and you may want to get back into your comfort zone, get back into your uh, into the boredom, and you don't want to do that. You want to progress, like I said. Last one that will be the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering. We do have the Seven of Swords here as a guidance, and uh, the card says that this crazy idea and this crazy thought that you are to have. Uh, contribute hugely to your agenda and to your end goal, whatever that end goal is, either you being happy, either you being lucrative. And it's a thing that you should guard and fight for with everything you got. If you do have to step for your rights, you must do it. If you do have to uh, pretty much be a storm into the situation, so you, you, you sustain you know, that, that idea to be manifested, you have to do it. But as well, this card here is telling you that you need to take some precautionary measures because somewhere along the way, not throughout this week, that is a little bit of a forewarning what we do have here, not throughout this week, but further down the road, you may be deceived either by somebody or you may deceive yourself. Okay, so again taking a precautionary measures that not to happen like for example making up the plan that leads you to the very end is a good start to do so it needs to take place because otherwise you may kind of like change perspective into your agenda which and swapping your true agenda with a fallacy and you don't want that to happen so that being said, Cancer, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading for December 7th to December 13th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.